Welcome, everybody, to something brand new and historic. The 12-team college football playoff is here. And an exciting new wrinkle, these first-round games are on campus in front of hyped-up and partisan crowds. Two teams battling for the right to move on to the quarterfinals. We have a great battle for us here tonight. Two teams with championship aspirations, but trying to define the odds and take a big step closer to that national championship. As we'll see the number nine seed in this playoff, the USC Trojans. Taking on the number eight seed in the playoff, the Tennessee Volunteers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined as always by Kirk Kermstreet. And the playoff is here. We've got a tremendous on-campus environment. Can't wait to get this one started. It's the kickoff team is out there. Great energy as this college football playoff gets underway. And he'll lead the kickoff right there to start with the 25. So the Tennessee Volunteers offense drives out there to open this game. And as this quarterback takes the field, eager to see how he plays today, there's a certain gravity about him. You can tell from the warm-up song the way the team responds and rallies around him. Can he come through on a big stage here? Yeah, this guy is their Superman. And when that opening kickoff is kicked up into the air, his cape goes on. He sets everything into place, gets the offense out of jams, does it in pressure situations. He's the arms and legs of this offensive system, but also the heart of this team. Now here's the toss play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. The balls will come to the line to crank up the tempo. Third down coming up. It's a draw play. Only gets a couple of yards there. It'll bring up fourth down. The Volunteers will have to kick it away. That's the first punt of the afternoon for this offense. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. So USC's offense gets their first crack now. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players are just a few guys, Kurt, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Short pass finds the tight end. But a huge collision. Blow delivered there by the linebacker. If I success the formation, it's third down. Looking to pass, it's Moss. Good throw to the left. Makes the catch downfield. Finally brought down, but it's an explosive gain. Ball all the way to the 21. And the Trojans line up on first and 10 now. Boy, a nice job here by this offense, creating an opportunity for this receiver to excel after the catch. It's early in this game, so this defense better get their arms around this receiver because he could be a monster today. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Now it's second down here. Heading left after the handoff. But they tackle him after just a two-yard gain, so it sets up a third and eight. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. The pass rush closing in. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. You know, a lot of times we get caught up, Chris, in the one-on-one -on -one battles with the receivers and the DBs. Here's a great example of up front, the offensive line and the defensive line. Who wins that battle? This time the defense wins it and they get the sack. The coach chooses to go for a field goal attempt here. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. points on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away. 
fielded in the end zone. It's Matthews. And he stopped with the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Tackle made after a solid game to spot the ball for 31. The balls will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. I love to watch this offense when they can dominate the line of scrimmage and have a talented back behind him. You continue to pick up first downs, you get the rhythm going. We've been watching Tennessee offenses do that for a long time. They make the stop, but a big gain puts them in enemy territory. All spotted at the 48. Offense cranking up the tempo now, no huddle. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well. Pounding. He'll take a deep shot here. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Offense getting set. It's second down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. The pickup is just three yards. Now it's third down and seven. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. First down and ten now. Gonna run it. It's Samson. The game is five, so it's second and five now. No huddle here for the offense. Chris, I just love to see this offensive line in this running game able to establish themselves. This back is already over 50 yards. We're in the first half, so really good job of establishing the run game. Opens up the play action. Opens up one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Just keep winning the battle up front. On first down, it's play action. Pressure is coming. Throws the ball away, but not before taking a hit. That play makes it second and ten. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. And the balls are in the red zone. That's moving receivers around now before the snap. On the third down, it's a handoff. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. The defense all over. They stop him right at the line. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. He decides to keep it here. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Crucial third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? Handoff here from the shotgun. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. So they're short on fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. It'll be a 24-yard attempt. Should be automatic. And he knocks that one right through. And that will tie the game here. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. The kickoff team is out. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the USC offense is back out on the field. Last possession produced a field goal. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Get some space around the 30. Four set of bounds after a big game. This offense set up with a first down. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. Keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense in your rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off a of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. And the Trojans hustle to the line to run that hurry up.
They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Second down after that previous play. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And that's a solid game for the defense able to bring him down. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Back to throw. It's Moss. And the pass is too high, out of bounds, and not complete. And they will try out the field goal team here. They will trust the kicker here from 55 yards out. Let's see if he can get it there. What a kick. It's good from 55. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Turner choosing to field this one. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Volunteers' high tempo offense is back out on the field. He kept out of the end zone last time, had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. The offense right from the line, playing with tempo now. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Fires it to the wideout. He pulls it in for a big game. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. A move the sticks for a first down for this Tennessee offense, and this quarterback is really starting to throw the ball well, putting the ball in the money, and giving these receivers a chance to make plays after the catch. And I'll tell you, they've had some great quarterbacks, as we know, that have played in their time in Knoxville. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Dropping back, it's Ayamaleva. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. And that broken tackle will earn him first down yardage. And the Volunteers come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Now this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. And the defense able to hold him there to a short game. The Volunteers come to the line in the hurry up. Looking for a gap, it's Sampson. Eludes a tackle. They make the tackle, but that's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 34. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Second down after that run on the previous play. The back now goes in motion. They look to throw it here on second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Samson. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. And out comes the field goal unit. He was on the mark with his last kick, but this one is from 50 yards away. Field goal try, no good. He missed it. A missed chance to tie this game, still down by three. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least, three points, but instead, he shanks it. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. The last drive produced three points thanks to an excellent long-range field goal. He hands it off from the gun. 
A game good for just a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Second down play coming up for this offense. Handing off on the draw play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Looking downfield, it's Moss. He'll take a deep shot. Caught way downfield for a huge game. He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, SC. Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him. Here's the point after attempt. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. USC, 13, Tennessee, 3. They'll return it from inside the 5. And they finally get him down, but a huge gain to wrap up this first quarter. And it's USC in front, Kirk, as we break for the quarter. We reach the end of one in this quest to move one step closer to a national championship. Let's check out the stats so far. Crucial stage of the game as we begin the second quarter. Is this one going to get out of hand? And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. Quarterback keeps the football. And they'll stop him after a short game. The ball has come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. On the ground, it's Samson. It's just the middle, but gets stuck. That run goes nowhere. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. Caught over the middle, it's Samson. Rips off a big game all the way to the plus 43-yard line. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. Hands it off on the counter. And the tackle is made after a four-yard game, so second and six. The offense going with the hurry up. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. A game sets up a third down play. Looking downfield, it's Ayamaleva. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. And they will trust the kicker here from 55 yards out. Let's see if he can get it there. And it's good right down the middle. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. The kickoff team is out there now. And here's the return from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. we go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. 
pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Second down play coming up. Using his legs, it's O'Neal. They bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down mark. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. Grab down the middle, it's Robinson. Finally brought down after a big game, moves the ball all the way to the plus 48. You know, a lot of times college quarterbacks, they're more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read, and he hits a big play in the middle. Quick throw over the middle. And it's complete downfield. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. They're going to pick up a first down. Nice catch, but even a better throw to show that accuracy and efficiency from that quarterback spot. And my gosh, they have so many great quarterbacks over the years that played at USC. Go back to Carson Palmer, the year he won the Heisman. What a brilliant career he had for the men of Troy. Matt Leinart, think back to those Norm Chow offenses and the championships that Matt Leinart won. And of course, more recently, Caleb Williams for Lincoln Riley, running and throwing and making throws just like that. So now it's third and short from the 21 as this defense tries to make a stand and force a field goal attempt or a fourth down stop. And the Trojans look to keep this drive moving. See what the call is on first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop here. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. And now the handoff. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. And the Trojans line it up with first and goal. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Zero running run. Stop right at the line of scrimmage. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Scanning the field, it's Moss. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. So with playoff pressure for the offense executes a long, grinding, methodical drive. You know, the thing I've loved about this offense all year long is their ability to either hit the big play or not have to rely on that, like this. They're able to sustain a drive and still come up with points and get a touchdown. They're set now to try the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. USC 20, Tennessee 6. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. They got points on the board last time thanks to a long-range field goal. Great cut there. Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. The volunteers will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Defense is coming after him. He cannot escape the defense with a sack. Well, they're going to go with a play fake here. The only problem is no one on the defense bit at all on the play action. The results are a big sack for this defense. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Here's the snap, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. It's caught downfield. They get him down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. The ball starting a new series here on first and 10. Chris, there's a lot of pressure on this offense here early in this game. They're down early, third down and long. Nice job of protecting. The last thing they want to do is have to... And the senior making a disruptive impact play. That's well, another sack for this defense, Chris. If I'm not mistaken, they've had a lot of pressures. I think that's their second sack of this game. And this defense has a lot to do with why they have this nice lead here early in the game.
That sack sets up a second down and very long. On the flag is out before the snap, the defense may have been a little bit over-eager that time. Encroach, encroach, defense. 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 Contact in the neutral zone leads to the penalty. That's good news for the offense. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Dropping back. It's Ayamaleva. Catch made on the left side. The defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. An important third down play coming up after that completion. Can he make it to the marker? Brought down to the 47, and that will move the sticks. And the balls pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. Great job here by this offense being able to convert. Let's face it, they've dug themselves a hole. They're down here early in this game. And with all this hype, the last thing you want to do is have to punt the ball. Come up with a conversion, keep your rhythm, keep your momentum, stick to your playbook. Good job here. Now let's see if they can keep that rhythm going. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And the Volunteers' offense is on the move now. There's a first and ten play. Now they're running on the toss. And he's pushed out of bounds after a short run. Not enough for a first. The Volunteers looking to run some tempo here. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. The ball is looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Running out of time in the pocket. Able to get the pass away, but took a hit that time. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. They finally bring him down at the five. Offense really threatening now. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. To throw, it's Ayamaleva. Looking for six. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Coach is going to take the three points. Here comes the field goal unit. The field goal is good. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the USC offense is back out on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. It's a two yard game, second and eight. Out of the shotgun, you'll hand it off. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. From the shotgun, drops back. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. And that's a solid return after the interception. How about this, Chris? The safety reads the quarterback's eyes perfectly and saw the throw before it even happened. If you're the quarterback, that's why it's so important to look those safeties off so they can't break on your throws. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. This is not the time to settle for field goals. They've got to find the end zone here. And off here from the shotgun. And he stopped after gaining four yards, so second and six. Offense operating at high tempo now, no huddle. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. Bakes the handoff, looking to throw. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. 
So we've reached the two-minute warning in this offense trying to get something going here and cut into this lead before halftime. Cannot connect. Incomplete. And now fourth down. So out comes the field goal team one more time. This kicker has been busy today. He's made three already. And that is no good. Missed opportunity to make this a one-score game. Still losing by 11. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. Cannot escape it. Down he goes. Sets up a second and long from the 20. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Oh, what a move. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Looking for a gap, it's O'Neill. They'll tackle him for a small gain. Needed a lot more on third and long. And a timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. And the Trojans will bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. And the fair catch signaled for and taken. First down here for this offense. Looking to pass. It's Ayamaleva. Let's it go quickly. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. Look out, he's got some space. So a great return following the pick. They're finally able to get him down. Well, how about the defense here? Sitting back in cover two, taking away anything deep downfield. It puts pressure on the underneath coverage. The linebackers have to have some awareness. This linebacker did a nice job of being able to step up and make that interception. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. They had to put the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. And looking to throw now on first down. Oh, a nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Getting set. Here's second down. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Running back grabs it on the screen. And they'll bring him down. The defense fought through the blocks, and they stop him short of the first down. So the offense calls a timeout here as they're forced to the half. On third down, he drops to throw. Caught on the outside. It's four. And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. First down. They're going to throw the football. Looking for the wide out. The junior trying to take his shot, but overthrows his man. Here's the second down play. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. He pulls in the catch. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Looking to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. And here comes the field goal unit onto the field. No problem. Knocks it right through. And that will extend their lead even further. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. From inside the 15-yard line, bringing it out. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. That run takes it across the 30-yard line. And the offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Dropping back. It's Ayamaleva. Quick throw to his receiver. And that's incomplete. Just eight seconds remaining now. So off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. He's got it for a big game. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. 
Looking to throw it on first down. Airing this one out toward the sideline. They can't come up with it there, and that's going to do it. Time runs out in the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. These games, they never disappoint, regardless the score. And this one was filled with excitement and big plays throughout that first half. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys and how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. That's going to do it for us here at the half. Time to see how this incredible playoff drama plays out. And for that, it's back to Chris and Kirk. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the USC offense is back out on the field. Trying to build on a positive first half for this offense to see if they can stretch the lead. There's some urgency on the part of the defense to stop the bleeding here. Solid run. They'll bring it down to the 28-yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. And on the carry, he's heading left. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. The important third down play coming up. Back to pass. It's Moss. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Stop right near midfield. It'll be a first down. And the Trojans will try to keep this drive moving. And they'll go right back to him on first down. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark. Inches away. Less than a yard to go as they come to the line on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Hudson. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of a first down. They'll try to pick up the third down yardage on the ground. And moves the ball to the 35, and another first down. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. And the Trojans will line up on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Ball carrier wrapped up and brought down. So now from the 29, it's third down and short. Let's see what the play call is going to be here. Already in field goal range, but of course, thinking touchdown. Game moves it to the 24. That's a fresh set of downs. And the long march continues. Offense pushing the ball down the field. Play action here on first down. Bringing pressure. The sophomore able to get home with the sack. Chris, I really felt the quarterback came off the fake a little bit too quick. The defense didn't bite at all on the play action. They saw the quarterback had the ball, attacked, and got the sack. First down sack pushes the ball back. Second down coming up. To throw, it's Moss. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. The throw complete to the running back underneath. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Well, here we go again. The field goal team is out there. This kicker's already got three makes in this game. And that one is no good. Off the miss, the lead is still 14 in a two-possession game. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. 
They're going to run it. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. The volunteers come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. On first and ten, looking to throw. Oh, it's dropped off the tip by the defense there. It's going to bring up second down. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Samson. One thing I love about this bat is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Shotgun formation here on third down. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. The balls will have to punt this one away. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And now it's a high kick. He hit it straight up. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. And he's brought down after a short game. Does not make the first down yardage. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. The offense now looking at a third and short in their own 40, trying to keep this drive going. To throw, it's Moss. It's a quick grab. And that gained enough for a fresh set of downs, spotted at the 48. Fresh set of downs for the offense after that first down completion. And the quarterback dropping back. The pocket breaking down. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Offense looking to throw the ball. Catch hauled in here over the middle. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. And the Trojans are moving quickly down the field. Caught over the middle. It's Branch. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. The offense with five receivers now. Empty backfield. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Here comes an important third down play. The coach does not want to send the field goal kicker out there after what happened last time. Can he get there on the ground? Tackle made at the 26. Good enough for a first down. And the Trojans come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. Will that holding penalty be a drive killer? First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? A handoff from the shotgun. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Defense cannot get off the field. The long drive continues. And it's USC in front, Kirk, as we break for the quarter. Sitting in a pretty good spot as you wrap up the third quarter, trying to keep those national championship hopes alive. Let's take a quick look at the game stats while we have a chance. As we head to the fourth, we could be in store for a classic finish. A spot in the next round of the college football playoff is at stake. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And they'll stop him short of the line of game. The 11th play of this marathon drive, but it's third and long now. Looking to throw. It's Moss. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Goes out of bounds after an excellent run, but not enough to pick up the first down. 
So out comes the field goal team one more time. This kicker has been busy today. He's made three already. He knocks this one right through. And they add to their lead. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after adding to this big lead, they are set to kick it away. Return starts from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring it down at the 16. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. It's now second down. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Nowhere to go. That ball knocked loose. Fumble recovered by the defense going the other way. Touchdown, USC. The defense adds six points. Potential momentum shift there. They scoop up the fumble and score on it. Boy, you just got to give credit to this defender for locating the ball, getting his hands on it, and then scooping it and scoring. So often you see guys that just want to go down. This guy realized, hey, I got athletic ability. I can pick it up. I'm going to score myself. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. USC, 33, Tennessee, 9. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 20, tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. Back to pass. It's Ayamaleva. Let's it fly to the wide out. He makes the grab. Tackle made after a big game. So one play moves the ball to the 41. Another first down. And he drops back in the gun. And is intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long, and now they get a critical interception here late in this game. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? They'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground, and they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll feed the back again. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Here comes the handoff. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. And the Trojans will bring their punt team onto the field. Money comes for his second punt of the game. Turner is brought down. It's a start for the next drive. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. And he throws his third interception of the day. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Can the offense convert that pick into points? They're set up first and goal. Handoff here from the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. All back at the 10-yard line now for second and goal. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. Runner finally brought down, but at the five-yard line, he's getting pushed back here. The play sets up a third and goal from the five now. 
send the back in motion. Third and goal. Looking to throw the ball. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. And that will extend their lead even further. After adding three more points to the lead, they're set to kick it off. Fields it just outside the goal line. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. Remember, the last possession ended quickly. The interception on the first play. Let's see if they can do better here. He is a load to bring down. Finally, a strong tackle by the quarterback gets him. To the air. It's Ayamaleva. If they don't make the connection, that one is incomplete. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Another interception. That's number four today. Are you kidding me? That's a short return, but the pick wipes out a scoring threat and sets up the offense at the 33. Well, that interception really about cost him the game here. And I understand. You got to do everything you can to get back in it, down by a couple scores. But the interception, for the most part, seals the deal for the defense. The offensive coordinator has got to love this starting field position. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. So early contact with the defense, that will push the ball up five yards. Important second down play coming up. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. So let's see what the play caller likes here on third and short from the plus 27. They'll give it to the running back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. And this one is right through. And they add to their lead. So after building this big lead, they're set to kick it off. And he takes this from inside the five. And he'll be tackled after a solid effort on that return. And the Volunteers' powerful offense back out in the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. And that's interception number five. When will this QB get the hook? It's a big return off the INT. They steal their offensive possession. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Takes the handoff. It's O'Neal. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid it third and long. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. Can't find anybody on third down, throws it away, and now fourth down coming up. So the coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit, and he knocks it right through the uprights. And that will extend their lead even further. So after adding to this big lead, they'll set to kick it away. The turn begins inside the 10. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And Tennessee's high-powered offense is back out on the field. See if this quarterback can bounce back the last possession. A pick on the very first play. And he pulls in the catch. They lose the ball to about the 45. That's good for a first down. 
play. A new set of downs after that completion. Looking to throw. It's Ayamaleva. Fires it to the wideout. Yet another interception. The disastrous performance continues. They tackle him after a short return, but they get the football back and set up shot near midfield. I just don't think there's anything else you can do as a play caller. You've got to be able to throw the ball downfield. you just got to hope that your quarterback and receivers can execute when the defense knows it's coming. Here, the interception cost them. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Single back takes the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Now it's second down here. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. The come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. And the Trojans will line up to punt it away. And this one will be fair caught. And Tennessee's offense back out on the field now. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Fires it to the wideout. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. Brought down after a short return. But the interception gives the offense the football at the 40. Really nice job of mixing up the looks here by this defense. Sometimes man, sometimes zone. They fool the quarterback here completely, and he throws the pick. The offense now has great field position to start the drive. And they'll keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Offense getting set. It's second down. Second down. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And that's the two-minute warning. This offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. And here's the handoff. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. And the Trojans will line up to punt it away. And the punt lands out of bounds. Let's see exactly where they'll spot it here. And the Volunteers' high-tempo offense is back out on the field. This one has been a beatdown for the ages, a demolition, an evisceration. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Back to throw. It's Ayamaleva. And the clock winding down. They'll take a deep shot. The catch is made for a huge pickup. That's a huge game. Stop finally made at the 43. Hey, this offense isn't giving up. Yeah, we're in the fourth quarter. You're down big. But who knows? Make a big play. And try to get in the end zone. Maybe get an onside kick. And he's got it. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. And the Vols have first and ten here. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Oh, he almost had another interception. And it'll be second down. Second down after that previous play. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. He's got it near the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Love this never-say-die attitude from this quarterback. He's still slinging it out there. This game's out of reach, but this guy's still putting the ball in the air, and this one's a touchdown. Kicking team out for the PAT try. And he knocks it right through. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback. They'll start at the 25. 
From the shotgun, handoff inside. That's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 29. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. In these playoff games, it's win or go home. So one side can continue to dream about the national championship. The other side suddenly, Kirk, their season is over, but it's been a good ride. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. It, you know, it's easy to focus on the team that advances, and they, they should be happy, obviously. They had a great year. They're going to continue to go on. But the team that comes up a little bit short, they, you know, you can see the emotion down on the field right now. They put so much into this year. Hopefully they'll be able to learn from this and come back even stronger next year. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.